welcome to the studio tonight. So tonight I'm going to do another review. These are on the DAI and AYW uh, full squirrel uh, quill uh, paintbrushes. They come in this nice box, uh, as you can see. I'm going to pull these out. I read a lot about these on eBay and I got a, a lot of mixed reviews. Some said they were pretty good brushes, some said they weren't very good brushes. Uh, I actually contacted the company for these and um, said, hey, I've got a channel, I'd like to review these. Uh, I can't tell if they're good or bad and uh, I will say that the company immediately just said, sure, here they are. Um, we'll send some out to you and review them. Let me snip the tops off of these so we can get them out of the pack. And uh, so I have to think that that's a good sign. If they weren't good paintbrushes, I can't imagine that the company would be so uh, quick to send these out. Now, they are quill brushes and they are made out of squirrel, which means they're going to hold a lot of water and they're probably going to be difficult for some people to use. But if you've got a wide swath of area to paint, then uh, you can use a flat brush or one of these because this will probably hold a lot, a lot of water. Wow. And I'm just dipping this in. You can see it's dripping wet. I'm trying to, should, I can bring my water over so you can see what I'm doing. It is a little dirty because I've been painting earlier tonight. Ah, oh, that is quite hard. I'm gonna let that sit. I'm gonna try to uh, a little thinner one. All right, and and you see these are the classic look with the four bands here holding the the hair that's been glued in that little ferrule. Um, I use a couple of different quill brushes. My favorites are the Da Vinci brushes here. You can see they're very similar shape. Uh, da Vinci, I guess, only has three bands on. These ones have four. We're going to find out. That is still, that is solid. That is really glued on there. Let's maybe we can get the one of the smaller one. So this came in the set. I, I don't know. I think it's uh, about $40 for this set. This is a one, yeah, one, a one, a three, and a five brush. And I've been using quill brushes. Actually, I, I actually uh, started to like them. I, I just bought, <clears throat> excuse me, this number two uh, because I was buying something on Amazon and needed to get over $25 so that I could get my free shipping. And uh, that was on my list of things I wanted to look at. It put me it put me well over the $25 limit. I could have bought something much smaller. Uh, but that's how I got that one. I've had I've had this one, the Da Vinci one, for oh eight months now. And and I really like it. I do have to paint a little differently than I would with let's say a sable brush or with a, a regular synthetic brush. Uh, but man, when you want to get some, some water and you want to put it on your paper in a hurry, these quill brushes are great for that. Okay, so this one is, is coming to life. I can still feel it's still pretty solid in the center, but the outsides are getting there. I'm going to let that one sit for just a second. I'm going to work, go back to work on this big number five. Oh man, that is so hard. Uh, you will see me coming out in the future, or maybe you will have just seen me coming out, or both, uh, with a, a number of paintings uh, using, maybe not these, this quill brush, but uh, quill brushes in general. It's such a, it's such a, a fun way to paint for me, <clears throat> and, and when I fell in love with watercolors, many moons ago it was it was not the tight painting that you'll do 
you know, with a with a with a brush like this and get in the little tiny do the little details. It's the wide sweeping brushes, the mixing of the colors on the paper. That's it's all of that that I really fell in love with. And I think these quill brushes allow me to do that a, a bit more than uh, let's say a sable brush. Now if I have to do uh, some detail work, well, uh, these quill brushes really do kind of, well, they're a little lacking. You can do it, but you've got to be careful that you don't press too hard and you can't, you can't go on, I don't know, it, you can do it. It's just harder. The, the, the bristles aren't as stiff. Well, I guess at least when they're not all glued together, they're not quite as stiff. So you do have to paint with them a little bit differently. Okay, we're finally getting somewhere with these. Okay, okay. Oh yeah, we're getting there. I'm sorry you had to look at my dirty water here for this long. I didn't uh, plan on just me rambling on about this for this long. All right, it's starting to soften up though. You can see I can just start to move these. Well, I guess, um, I guess they really wanted these brushes to hold their shape when they sent these out. Uh, they could have run a car over these and <laughs> wouldn't have affected them at all. The other thing I like about these brushes is the, is the look. It's got a, I don't know, I, I love the look of, of how these are just put together like, and not like they're machined and put together like modern brushes with a nice ferrule on them. Let's see, here's one that's got the nice ferrule and you can't see how are those brushes or how are those bristles inside there. I don't know. And how does this stay on? There's a little crimp right here, but is that enough? I know you look at these ones and you can tell exactly how these are on there. There might be some glue in there. In fact, there's quite a bit of glue holding all the bristles in at the end here and together. But you just know the way that this ferrule is attached to this wood is with these bands and the way that these bristles are held in place are with those bands. And I think it's kind of a neat look to me. I really, I really kind of like that. Okay, I think we're just about there with this one. I'm gonna let this sit and soak for just a second. Now that I've splashed water all over everything. All right, let's take a closer look at these brushes. Like I said, we've got the one well, that's 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 not too bad. We've got the the number one here. Actually, seems pretty nice. Oh, there's a couple of hairs coming out that I can see. We'll deal with those in a second. But it's a fairly springy brush. I should do it this way. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. There we go. It's a fairly springy brush. Well, I don't know how it's, let's see, it comes to a fairly good point. I don't know if it's a perfect point every time, but it's a fairly good point. This is my number three. Let's take a quick look at this one. Let's give it a little rub. Yeah, that's not bad. Well, that's not great. Well, it's coming out of there pretty good. You press it down a little bit, it, it's, it is popping back to a point. That's not so bad at all. No, this is our big one here is quite done. Yep. Here we go. Let's see how this one goes. Give it just a second. Roll it around a little bit. Yeah, a little breaking in the bristles, but a couple of coming out of there. But if I just dip it from the water and come out, it's not all that bad. There's another bristle coming out. That might not be the best sign. But you don't want to see me just pull these out of the box and you know, running them around on my hand. What you're looking for is to see how these work. So let me, let me dry off my work surface. Pull out a pack of paints here. These happen to be my M. Graham paints. I don't think it's going to matter for this demonstration, but let's just take a look. I'll set these off to the side. I've just got a, a piece of scrap paper here. This happens to be this happens to be B paper. 
and uh, I'm gonna grab let's see what am I gonna grab I'm gonna grab turquoise right here one of my favorite M gram colors I'm just gonna load this up and I actually came to a nice point right off of that but let's just see how fine a point it's a little bit of a cheat. I've got one bristle, one hair that's sticking out. Well, I can't get to a super fine point with this one, but this is not one I'm going to want to get to a super fine point with. What I'm going to want to do is do something like this and just cover a lot of area. If I do that and come back up, well, it breaks a little bit, but not too bad. Let me really rinse this one out um, yeah not too bad it feels nice I'll, I'll tell you that this one feels like a nice brush but let me set that one off to the side for a second this is the number three and look at the, the I, I love how this looks like it just bulges out here Boo, and then comes to a nice point that doesn't mean it's gonna paint any better it just means it looks real nice uh, let's see, I'm going to try not to get a super ton of water on this, but let me turn this just a little bit. Whoa! Get my paper flat. And let's see what we can do with this. I get a fairly fine line with this one. I do have a little bit of warp in the paper here. You can just probably see, that's why I got a little fatter there. And just like the other one, this one feels like a, a nice squirrel brush. It holds a lot of water. I could do that for a long time. And I rinse it out. Yeah, it comes back to a pretty good point. Um, well, that's, that's nice. And here's the little one. This is the number one. This is very close to, yeah, look, it's just a little smaller, it looks like, than my Da Vinci number two. Let's see how their sizing is. And this is a Da Vinci zero, and it looks just a bit bigger than that. So I think their sizing is right on track. Let's get a little bit more paint in there. I do think I have one bristle that's coming out on this one, too. Let's see. Let's see how we go here. Yeah, not. I do have. I have one bristle. It's coming out. And I can tell it's pushing the rest of the brush over. I can do a fairly. a fairly fine line with that. Let's see if, it, if it'll zoom in there. There you go. A fairly fine line. Just like all the other ones, this one will, just like all the squirrel brushes, boy, this will hold a lot of water. And if you need to mix some colors in there, you want to make a beautiful green, green. just go right back over it. Anyway, that's the, the green is not part of the whole thing. The green is just having a little bit of fun. Anyways, so I get this one wet, I rinse it off comes back to a point I can just boy I can just see there's there's one hair I know you won't be able to see it on there there's one hair on there that probably is gonna drive me nuts anyways I just wanted to let you see these are the the, the three brushes that I've got came in whoa there it is the nice pack pure squirrel hair by D A I N A Y W I have no idea how to pronounce that Dane A Danewa. Uh, but you'll see me using these in the future, and I will report back to you and let you know how these go. Um, as I was saying before, my camera uh, decided to go south on me. Been having a little trouble with batteries. I bought a couple of extra ones here. Uh, they're pretty small. Uh, the most powerful ones I could get for this camera. And... Uh, I'm going to make sure they're all charged up from now on. Anyways, anyways, before I, where I was at before my camera decided to 
head south on me is I look forward to using these. I can't wait to try them out. You'll see them in future videos. I'll use them in videos here on my Instagram, uh, photos on Twitter, on Facebook. Uh, and when I use these, I'm going to put a hashtag for them down there so you'll know that I've used them for those. I will do a review coming up uh, in a few weeks after I've had time to use these to let you know how they are. Until then, thanks for stopping by tonight. We'll see you later. Thanks. Bye-bye.